What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into this one and uh, no, no long intro or nothing like that. What we got going on today is uh, we are getting the cab test fitted on the narrow chassis. Remember we took five inches out of it. Uh, pieces are actually still over there. And um, we're going to put fenders on it. We're going to put the front end on it, put the hood on it, and uh, put the front suspension back on it. Just mock-up purposes to make sure we don't have to take any more out. Like, if a half inch is going to make a big deal or make a big difference in how, it, how much it can turn and things like that, then we're going to take the half inch out of it right now while we can. Um, of course, we want this thing to sit as low as possible, have full turning radius, and... Um, we need to make sure before we final weld this thing together that uh, we're there. So I'm going to start by using my favorite tool, Sawzall. Ready to go. Uh, cutting body mounts off, all four. Catching Sawzalls. Yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four. And then motor's coming out. Um, I'm going to tack all the cut places this there there and under the motor uh, i'm gonna tack those in a few spots to make sure this frame doesn't uh separate or do anything weird while we're trying to lower the body down um obviously nothing here is square this isn't the final weld together nothing like that this is just mock-up and making sure our initial cuts are going to get us the result we want after we square everything up so that's enough of me talking. I'm gonna get to cutting these off. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the video.
All right, guys. So um, I I saved you guys the time of uh, us cutting, measuring, you know, kind of the more boring things, um, I guess I could call it, um, to get the truck to sit kind of where we want it. But what I'm about to show you guys is 99% sure it's the ride height it's going to be. It honestly might even come down an inch or so. And, uh, I guess there's really nothing much for me to do but other than to walk to the other side of the garage and show you guys that, uh, that's ride height. That is insane. Yeah, that, uh, I don't know about you guys, but that's low. And that's, this thing's still going to be driving on the street. Yeah. It's, uh, to give an idea, is we're, we're even going to go a little bit lower. We're going to come in, trim up some of the rocker, and then build our own, you know, squeeze the rockers together, tack them back up, and build our own little, uh, build our own little rocker that's a little bit smaller so we can drop the body down even more. This will, uh, this will come down probably another inch, inch or so, but you know, <laughs> yeah, that's right height. I don't know if you guys have a full understanding of that, but um, I'll do this. This bushing is supposed to go under the fender. This bushing, this bushing, goes right here for the core support do you guys understand how low that is or how much we drop that this bushing is supposed to really sit under here and hold that core support up that is uh yeah ain't bad for us got a lot of more work ahead of us still I mean, obviously, uh, as you can tell, there's going to be some steering problems here, but we're going to come in, lighten all these fenders up, get full. Yes, yes, full. This thing still has full steering. And uh, come in here. We're going to be cutting up in here to get this thing to come in. That firewall is pretty much going to be non-existent. <laughs> we got to, we, you know, we got to cut some stuff up, make some room, but... I mean, look at it. It's worth it. You cannot tell me this isn't worth all the work. Well, to me it is. It's completely worth it. Have this thing. Oh, look at that. Insanity, man. This thing is... Wow. So, what's next is... Take this thing back apart... Clearance all the fenders, start marking on the firewall what has to be cut out, and uh, get going on cutting that stuff out. Eventually, we're going to come back in here and figure out what exactly we want to do, how we want to go about building the back. But really, this thing's going to be really sweet is when we take our housing and we narrow it and we can set those tires, the 10 fives over there right back here and have a bed on it and then you can really really get the full experience of how low this thing's gonna sit with full suspension travel full steering the whole nine and really really good street ability because it's all still up front's all gonna be factory frame so it's gonna be able to take some abuse and uh it's gonna be perfect i mean long-term goal like a four second uh Street driven car will be pretty sweet. Of course, we got some time for that even. We even talk about motor stuff. I mean, we just have it sitting on the table. Yeah. <laughs> but that's where we're at. So thank you guys for tuning in this video. If you like what you're seeing, then make sure you subscribe. I mean, you're going to see more of this being built and it's going to be insane. 
Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys where this thing's going to go. And I personally can't wait to see how it's going to go. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like, share, comment what your favorite part um, about filming is. But comment what you want me to improve on, what you want me to show more of. I'm, I'm down to show whatever. Um, I To me, I just cut out some of the more boring parts because I don't know what you guys want to see. So comment what you want to see. Um, share the videos. Subscribe. I mean, look at that thing. Phew. Insane. Insane. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.